Alright y'all, welcome back to another episode of the Pig Reaper. When I was a little baby pig, my mama told me to look out for the boogeyman, but I didn't think it was real. Well, it's real. Here I am, sitting here in this trap, wondering where I'm going to be tomorrow. So anyway, I'm in here making some sausage. We're making sausage with some of that pig that we got. Um, this is going to conclude the video. I'm going to actually make a complete video next time on how we do it from start to finish when we trap the pigs, bring them home, bring them here. I got a walk-in cooler out here, so we're just finishing up making the rest of this sausage. But anyway, that group of pigs last night, um, it was kind of difficult because there was six pigs total, and I had a big boar hog that would come in there and run them all out. And then that group, the smaller group, was running out another little old boar hog. So I had to like put figure out how I was gonna catch all seven of those pigs. So I ended up catching the boar hog first. because he came in first that night so I called him and didn't go out there didn't disturb the trap or nothing and they came in saw him in there they just figured they couldn't get to the corn so they left and then we went in and our like nine o'clock that morning pulled him out pigs were already going back to their beds so we waited and then yesterday afternoon those five pigs all six of them came in but they would never let that little borehole get in there and I'll show a little clip of that how they kept pushing them out He would get close enough in there, so I figured, you know what, I'll go ahead and drop the trap and smash him, catch him, basically caught him like a rat. And then the rest of the pigs, they didn't want to go nowhere near while he was trapped under there, so we went out there last night and got them all out of there. That pretty much wraps up this video on catching those set, all seven of those pigs. So that's the goal, is you have to get all of them. Because if you drop the trap while the pigs are around it, they won't never go back nowhere near it. So that's kind of important. But a point that I do want to make that's extremely important is the fact that as long as you drop the trap, if you've got several pigs coming in there and they see that they come in there when there's, you got about a five minute window for them to calm down. And once they calm down, they usually go back to eating the corn. If other pigs show up and see them in there eating the corn, they just don't think they can get in there. They don't really realize that those pigs are trapped. So as long as there's not a huge commotion around and stuff like that, they won't catch on to it. So that wraps up this video, but the next video is gonna be from start to finish on how we catch the pigs. And if we're gonna to decide to cut, use them for making sausage or whatever, then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll make a start to finish video on the next run. So that wraps up this whole trapping video. We got seven out of seven pigs in that group and that's what we wanted. So that's that. Thanks for watching.